Hello everybody, this is me Johan here and this is my in-depth review of the Realme 3 Pro's camera. Uh, the main sensor right at the back is a 16 megapixel sensor with an f1.7 aperture and the one beneath it, right beneath it is a 5 megapixel depth sensor with an f2.4 aperture and right beneath it you find an LED flash. And regarding the selfie cam on this phone, it's a pretty strong one. It does come with a 25 megapixel uh, front selfie cam with an f2.0 aperture. All in all, if I have to say something, I have really been impressed uh, with the cameras on this phone. To take you through it, let's start with daylight shots. I've covered three modes over here. One is the normal mode, second uh, is the HDR mode, and the third is the chroma boost mode. Alright, and concerning the rear cam on normal mode, the images came out good with ample amounts of detail. While as in HDR mode, I've just switched it on right now, the images came out a lot more brighter and vibrant all around. It really enhanced the quality of the images. On the next mode, that is the chroma boost mode, that's the mode uh, right next to the HDR, uh, that's how you go and switch it on. All right, over here the saturation level is up even beyond the HDR mode and gives a very colorful and punchy feel. You know, people who like to use a lot of filters to upload pics should use this mode often. The selfie performance on this phone, I mean, the images that came out of the 25 megapixel front shooter were also really impressive. I covered two modes over here, one was a normal mode and the other mode was the HDR mode. On normal mode, it does a decent job in maintaining details of our face but tends to wash out the background. Over here the background is the sky, you guys can see the sky is a little washed out over here. But there were two other instances where I had taken pics right next to plants and a wall. I mean, meaning the plants and the wall were the background for me and it did a really good job in such a situation. As you guys can see, this pic is taken on HDR mode and over here you can see both my image as well as the background, the sky, have been preserved beautifully. The same was the case with the other pics as well. I highly recommend you to switch on the HDR mode while taking selfies during daytime. Alright, now moving on to a more critical part of uh, the test that is a low light test as you know most of these mid-range budget phones fail in this department terribly is this the same in the case of the realme 3 pro well the answer to that is i've really been blown over by the low light performance of this phone as well so i've covered four modes as far as the rear camera is concerned on normal mode in reasonable low light it has done a good job in maintaining the quality of the image In slightly darker conditions, it again impresses by maintaining a good and bright image. In a situation where, you know, low light is even lighter, it again does a decent job overall. In a lighted area, it does a good job over here again. Moving to the nightscape mode with the same scenes, it does a very impressive job in brightening the entire image and making it look like some shots were taken using heavy lighting. An extremely impressive night mode. Moving to the HDR mode, in the same scenarios, it does a little better than the normal mode by adding a bit more punch to the images. Alright, regarding the flash, where there is light, the flash does, I would say, a decent job, not a great job. But where there is very less light, the flash does a really good job.
All right, moving on to the selfies during low light, I've covered three modes over here. One is the normal mode, one is the HDR mode, and last is the flash. All right, on both normal and HDR mode, both did a good job in taking good selfies in lit scenes, partially lit scenes, and very low lit scenes, with the HDR mode doing a, a slightly better job as compared to the normal mode. All right, then moving on to pics uh, taken with the help of the flash. The front selfie flash completely outperformed both the normal and the HDR mode and took some clean and crisp images in all situations. An extremely impressive selfie flash performance. As far as the verdict goes, I feel the Realme 3 Pro has got a really good pair of cameras, both rare as well as a selfie. I feel it's easily got one of the best cameras in its price category. And if you guys are looking out for an alternative to the Redmi Note 7 Pro, uh, the Realme 3 Pro will not let you down. In fact, it will surpass your expectations like it did mine. A point to add, even the low light camera performance on this phone is really good. So it's a no compromise package as far as the cameras on this phone are concerned. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys loved the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys could give me a thumbs up. And if y'all are interested in following me from here on, I would suggest y'all to go and hit subscribe to my channel Living With Tech. And right after that, hit the bell icon so that y'all get notified with the latest videos the second they are uploaded. I'm there on all social media. I'm there on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links to all my social media are there in the description below. So as it is, as always, I wish all of you a tremendous day ahead of you. Ciao for now.